We're not going to take it anymore. Kamala, you're fired. Get out. Get out. You're fired. <laughs> well, there you go. Yes, yes, finally, guys, we have unburdened what has been done. The era of the Obama is finally over. This is the nail in the coffin. We should not hear no more cackling Kamala, no more Biden, no more Obama, no more Clintons. This is it. We have finally spoken. And it's been loud and clear. We have done with the wokeness. Take that shit out of here. Now, even CNN has said that she has underperformed everywhere. Are there any places that the vice president is overperforming Joe Biden in 2020? So we could show you that as well. We just bring that out here. Harris overperforming 2020. Holy smokes. There you go. Uh, so let this go away and see if there's anything on the east side there. Uh, Literally nothing? Literally nothing. Literally not one county? By 3% or more. We don't blame this on the black men, the Hispanic men, Uncle Tom, Tio Tomas, huh? It's our fault. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that gladly. We saved America. I want to shout out to all you men out there who stood firm, who went to the polls and made sure your voice was heard. The legacy media is finally over. We're not listening to them anymore. The NBCs, the CBS, ABCs, your time is done. But anyway, the best time of the election is hearing the liberal cry. Salty tears. We have a compilation of all the tears and let's sit back and enjoy it. If you're on the left, you're a democratic voter. Wakey, wakey, I need to wake you up out of the hypnosis that you're in, that Morning Joe and The View and all of mainstream media has put you in. They're lying to you. Why do you think they keep losing? You think they, oh, they keep telling you how smart they are and how they're gonna deliver you victories. And all they ever do is deliver loss after loss after loss. So Democratic voters snap out of it. These guys are obvious liars, fire them all. Fire them all, and if you don't, okay, then keep losing to buffoons, to obvious con men like Donald Trump. Keep losing and losing and losing and never figuring it out. Here, I solved it for you, I figured it out. It's a goddamn corruption. All the stupid donor money, all it's ever done is lead to more losses. So if you don't fire them, you have no one to blame but yourself. Oh, wah, 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 oh. We have literally lost the plot. We have lost the plot. I just woke back up. What the f is going on? <laughs> America, y'all dead ass, dead ass. Come on, bro. Damn. What are we about to do? Votes at this time. That means he needs 23 more. Pennsylvania has 19 electoral votes. Michigan. I have been crying in my room for the past hour. For the past fucking hour. B and I and people saying, oh, but New York is blue. New York is blue. I don't give a f New York is blue. Like the fact that this man is a f is a f president now. Trying to stay calm today. Woke up this morning. Decided that we are wearing all black today because it is the death of the country as we know it. Um, I have never been so utterly disappointed in a group of people. And I just don't understand. Like, how do you not understand we are under his tax plan? That tariffs will cost us money. That he is a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, bigoted piece of shit who does not care about you. He doesn't. If you die tomorrow, he could give two fucks. He could give two fucks if you eat, 
sleep, have a house. He doesn't care. And the fact that you think he does just shows how uneducated and how ignorant you are. This is like one of the most unforgettable elections. And I love her. And I don't say I love a lot of people. Y'all know that because I hate everybody. So this is history. Cardi, when you... Can you, I swear to, I swear to God, my academics are like, I'm sick of you. I'm sick. Of, get away. Get away from me. Sick of you. I'm sad. I'm really, really sad. I'm really sad. But I just wanted to say that America failed women tonight. Much in my, right now, I don't even know what to do. I've never hated red so much in my life until now. Honey, you're going to say, we, we'll see if you still scream go Trump in the next few months let's see it's about to be so many black men being pulled over and gunned down for no freaking reason oh white privilege is gonna be so high right now i'm just gonna go ahead and say what i really want to say because i think the fact that so many people allowed for this man this raging bigot this man who has literally taken away people's rights that they voted for this man because of their lack of education because of their lack of understanding how the basic branches of government works because of everything under the sun misogyny hatred but also just stupidity i am so absolutely infuriated because not only is this man looking like he's going to become president the fuck congress is about to be republican the fact that i have to clock into work after this like nothing ever happened this just made me lose complete faith in this entire country as a whole. Like it really makes me not want anything to do with this country. So for me to go to work, it's like, why? Like, <laughs> what is the point in even participating in this damn country at this point? Like, what's the point? Like it has literally shown that it does not give a f about people like me or like any marginalized community at that. <laughs> oh boy. What I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously and I don't know that sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so scared um so yeah let me let me know I guess my stomach what has happened to america what has happened to democracy what has happened to freedom i'm done I'm, I'm this is a message to anyone who follows me if you voted for trump unfollow me and block me if you didn't vote unfollow me and block me the fact that it's this close means i've lost all hope in the american people like, it should not be this close. Why would anyone vote for this person? He's so evil. He's so demented. I, Kamala's not perfect. We all know that. We all know that. She is not a convicted felon, rapist, crazy, fascist, dictator, psycho. Oh, man, this is a baby. The big baby cries. To be the baby crying. I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this fucking day. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so pissed off. Fuck. 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 God damn it. <laughs> White dudes with Harris. I love it. I love it. I personally think that if all of these men are voting to take our rights away, they don't deserve to touch a woman for the next four years. So, hope you thought that through, you guys. Oh, duly noted. Duly noted. You voted against me. You voted against my right to live. You voted against all the women and their rights. I hope you enjoy your cheap fucking gas. It appears as though this gigantic piece of won the election. And as much as I hate him because he's a gigantic criminal authentically horrible human being, I also blame the f***ing Democrats for doing this. How hard is it to beat him? It's not that f***ing hard. He is a fake ass mother f 
her who is not a real human being. He's a piece of sh Democrats, how could you not beat him? Why could you not beat him? If this is the beginning of the downfall of American society, this is because Democrats were a bunch of This is not okay. This is not okay. This, 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 this simply will not do. And this is not okay. And I'm not good with this. This is fucking, this is sick. This is sick. That should not be there. And they're wrong. And you're wrong. And everything is wrong. And this house is not even my house. You just bought it for me and I don't want it. So like, what's the plan? Do we all just like kill ourselves collectively as a group? Just drink some Kool-Aid, just mass? Like, like what's the, what's next for us? What's next for us, the American people? Do we like wait it out? Do we just jump? Um, do Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> if you voted for that man, if you voted for anybody other than Kamala and you live and you live in one of the states that it was, you know, close. Or if you didn't vote, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies. Live with that decision. Sit with it. Let it make you uncomfortable. Fuck you. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys again for standing up. Thank you, Trump. Shout out to Elon Musk. You saved America. Once you had bought Twitter and made it to X, you gave us freedom of speech back again. Shout out to you. Shout out to JD Vance, my man. Shout out to Tulsi. Thank you, RFK, Mr. Kennedy. Thank you, Joe Rogan, for your unbiasedness. Thank you, Vivek. You are awesome. Thank you to Mr. Brian Donalds. I saw you the other day at the airport. We shook hands. We talked briefly. And shout out to you. You're a rising star also. And all of the Avengers out there for saving America. We're going to do this. Let's go back to work.